Nigerians have been called to take good care of their health by adequately washing their hands with soap and clean water, clean their environment and cook their food before eating it, as this is aimed at preventing Lassa fever disease, which is fast spreading. Correspondent Gribel Lodia provides more information in this report. The disease has caused several deaths, including medical personnel, with higher impact in states like Undo, Edo and Bauchi, which account for 82% cases. Currently, Edo State has recorded over 40 confirmed cases, while Benue State has five confirmed cases. Nassau State lost one doctor due to the disease early this year. Uh, Lassa fever uh, is a viral illness. It causes a fever and then uh, in severe cases you can experience bleeding. So um, usually it's transmitted during this time of the year when the dry season uh, period. Uh, by people that handle rats, uh, you know, prepare them or uh, when people get in contact with the feces or exc excreta of rats, maybe you dry gari outside or you dry uh, um, so, some, some grains outside and rats come eat excrete on them. Those particular rats, uh, you know, you you have uh, you can contract it. You can also contract from someone who is infected. The body fluids of person, blood. The basic thing is taking care of your environment, cover your food, cook your food properly, and then um, always fumigate your environment. Being neat, neatness is just what we advocate for. The Department of Risk Communication that carries out advocacy and sensitization by sharing our flyers and posters and then talking, uh, giving out talks to markets and community people. They called on government at all levels to commence sensitization and create awareness among the populace on the dangers of the disease so as to stay safe. Now on the rat, there are some contacts that we have in the hospital of vision that are testing to positive but they never came in contact with rats. So the thing is the rats can urinate on your gari can come in contact with any of your food item and you don't cook properly and you can also pick it, not necessarily eating rats. The risk communication activities are ongoing in the communities and then clinicians are trained on how to handle the disease and then symptoms have been given out. So if you have somebody that has particular symptoms like this, like this, there are contacts that you reach out to them. Conscientize fully our doctors that uh, this illness they should look out for it. We have also, as an association, procured this an antiviral drug that is called Rivabirin. If you suspect that you have Lassa fever, you can take that drug for a few days and it will lessen the symptoms or it may even cure you of the illness. Government can also procure this medication for health workers, you know, so that if you have this illness, you don't go buying it yourself. Somebody may be reluctant to buy because he, he will take his, he will use his own personal funds. But if it's available, uh, health workers can take it and you know protect uh, themselves from this illness. On their part, they called on Nigerians to always assess medical facility if they are sick, while medical and health personnel should safeguard themselves with necessary drugs. A couple of weeks, uh, I've been in touch with our members in the isolation unit who are managing uh, these cases. None has come down with these symptoms or illness. But last year, we had a member who uh, was tested positive and he, he took this drug I'm, I was telling you about, river brain, uh, you know, and he got well. And then some two years back, we lost, it was last year actually, we lost a member of our association to Lassa fever. Meanwhile, there is need to tackle these diseases before it gets out of hands.